Take a look at this nice thick canopy of corn here. Great for filling our ears, but also leads us to the potential to have some late season diseases such as tar spot. My name is Tyler Steinkamp, Crop Protection Product Manager for Iowa and Missouri for Winfield United. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about foliar diseases in corn, specifically tar spot. You gotta remember for corn, anything above that ear leaf here, the ear leaf on up, that is what is supplying our sugars for that ear. If we don't have those leaves to supply those sugars, we're gonna see a yield loss. Okay, and so when you start to think about tar spot, tar spot tends to come in uh, when we have really wet, humid conditions. Okay, it likes a little bit cooler temperatures, but honestly, I've seen it where it's even been a little bit hotter and we start to get tar spot. It's, it's more about the amount of leaf wetness that you have. So it's absolutely critical to pay attention and be watching your crop for that uh, tar spot to come in. It's also not like a lot of our fo other foliar diseases where it tends to come in a little bit earlier. It does, uh, tar spot does tend to come in a little bit later for people that haven't had it in the past. And it's one of those that kind of sneaks up on you. So be paying attention because it doesn't take long to go from something like this over to something like this. So we definitely want to keep an eye on it. Um, not only can it affect our grain yield, but it can also affect our standability later on in this uh, later on in the season. And oftentimes, if we're getting tar spot, we're also getting other foliar diseases in with it. Okay, as far as management goes, there's certain hybrids that are better than others. We don't have a really good rating scale for specific hybrids right now, so you got to just pay attention, be watching for that tar spot to come in. Now, what are you looking for? Well, you're looking for a little dark spot, as you can see from this picture, okay? And the key is the dark spot will have to be on the front side and the back side of that leaf. So turn it over and turn it, uh, and, and you can see it on both sides. That's gonna indicate you probably have tar spot. If you can uh, touch the leaf or even uh, take it and rub it off, it, it's not tar spot, okay? It will stay with that leaf surface. So that's how you identify those. Now, a lot of us have, in the past, always aimed for our fungicides right around that uh, R1 or even slightly ahead of R1, which is perfect for a majority of our diseases, and it helps us get through that pollination window. But for tar spot, tar spot does tend to come in a little bit, bit later. If we time that fungicide application for about VT, we'll most likely be running out of gas for a lot of those fungicides around that um, R3, R4 time period, that 25 to 28 days later. And so that's when we will definitely want to be watching and maybe targeting a second fungicide application. Anytime that you're putting on a foliar fungicide, guys, we need to make sure that we're getting canopy penetration. Remember, fungicides don't move in the plant. So we need to cover that entire crop canopy to get good uh, penetration and get good coverage okay we should never go out with just fungicide alone I'd highly recommend throwing master lock in there to get better canopy deposition and get better overall penetration in that canopy as you can see from this picture here you can see the amount the extra coverage that you get from that and in a lot of our data from the answer plots, we've showed an average of 5.7 bushel yield increase having the master lock in the tank versus just doing the fungicide alone. If you have any other questions about tar spot or anything else that we discussed in this video, feel free to reach out to your local Winfield United dealer or local Winfield United rep to ask any of those questions.